Welcome back everyone to more Elvira 2, The Jaws of Cerberus. It's a crazy fucking moose head. Helmet on, some badass armor. I'm gonna grab the gauntlet as well. Protects our hands. This it's a small leather bound prayer book embossed with gold lettering. We better snatch it. And a padlock. That's all we're going to take for now. Spirit blocking the door. Grab that glass pitcher. Up, oh, cannot carry any more weight. I've met this sort of child before. You need to find something to play with, and I don't mean me. Let's go ahead and head back out. We're going to drop stuff. In our pile here.
definitely doesn't uh, load as fast as when you have it emulated right off of your DOSBox hard drive. But again, this is my first time using this Amiga emulator, so I'm sure there's plenty of tweaking you can do to speed things up. However, it's kind of reminiscent. This is exactly what you would have had to deal with back in the day. Okay, well, let me temporarily drop my helmet. So we're just going to be making some spells here anyways. So we need any shaped glass. Guess just need one. Unfortunately, you cannot flip pages both directions. It's like porcelain. Go ahead and make the last detect trap spell here with our glass vase. We need a prayer book. For that spell, that's our unholy barrier. And let's make a, another protection spell here. We can use our coal bucket, which, fuck it, weighs a whole lot. You faint at the horrific sight that meets your eyes.
Let's not go down there. What could be for dinner? Holy shit! Severed fucking head! You faint again like a little bitch. And then you die. Because you suck. So we'll leave that platter alone. In fact, let's get the fuck out of this room. Let's head upstairs. I'm just trying to get those experience points from walking every little witch away we can. here oh this is bad I'm locked in a blazing room of fire and brimstone and I am fucking dead again my nose is burnt off Grab my ABC blocks here. I actually remember quite a bit of this from an entire year ago to this day, really. This is your final Ronsta October 2020 surprise full playthrough of the Amiga version of Elvira 2 The Jaws of Cerberus. Hope you enjoyed this month. I certainly enjoyed all the games we played. Here's a good place to save. So you want to throw one of these blocks on the floor here. And then quickly go through the door. copy of The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett. It's only a pity that you haven't got the time to read all of it. No, we're not going to read that. From bungee jumping to lighted lights, a thin reference book which tells us the strangest things people do for fun. Let's read the poison handbook here. There are poisons to fit all circumstances. The true poison connoisseur knows exactly what poison to use. The actual preparation is simple and is not dealt with in this book. 
Make sure you select exactly the right poison or the results may be catastrophic. And you may be dead. For the real sadist, we have Torrens Baubasher, a poison that causes dilation of the colon and overall body spasms. It must be administered orally. It will take effect after approximately 30 seconds. Death is the ultimate result, but is preceded by at least 10 minutes of agonizing thrashing. The more subtle murderer may prefer the delicacy of chlorine gas. If inhaled in concentrated form, it causes the lungs to dissolve and leaves the victim gasping for oxygen. It is a popular feature at formal dinner. The next poison only works underwater and must be administrated orally, called watery grave. This poison causes death within seconds of ingestion and is guaranteed to work or your money back. If you want to get back at someone but not kill them, then this is the poison for you. Strange mixture of Indian herbs in the right proportion will cause severe stomach upset and bowel disorders for at least one day. This poison is often called chicken tindaloo. Violent hallucinations are the effects of a dose of this poison. Substance X must be administered intravenously in order to function correctly. Many victims have been known to commit suicide while under the influence of this poison. All traces disappear after use. There are poisons to fit all circumstances. The true poison connoisseur knows exactly... Okay. A piece of paper falls out of the book as you put it back on the shelf. This is one of the key items you want to grab here. Chemical formula for a very strong poison. books on the occult here. It's slowing down so much. A study of demonology. We want to read this book as well. The ancient art of demonology is the most dangerous form of magic. It should not be used by a person with little power. Take heed, foolish dabbler, you have been warned. Demons will never forget you, their tormentor and captor. The hazards are great, but the rewards are greater. The method of preparation of a demonic circle of binding is both complex and difficult. Each and every stage must be performed exactly as stated, or disaster will strike you, and your suffering will be endless. First, a perfect circle of human blood must be drawn by a priest of pure good, or the magic will fail and all chaos will be set free. Within this circle, the priest must scribe a perfect magical star to focus the power. Next, ten black candles must be placed at the junctions of the paths, and these candles must be lit as a beacon for evil beings to see from their foul plane. This powerful magic splits the universe into two pieces, that within the circle and that without. The area within the circle is a direct conduit to the plane of demons. You must then summon the demon you wish to conjure by use of an enchanted message. Ancient tribesmen have been known to use an enchanted magic bag for this purpose. Mm, the Indian guy spoke of such. The following step is most important. You must not make even the slightest error or the magic will fail and demonic hordes will be free to roam the land. When the spawn of chaos has fully materialized, then you must with all speed bind him to your will. This step invol involves, with an E, a mental battle for control between you and the monster. 
Once you have control, then the demon is at your command for one solar cycle. The method of banishment is similar to that of summoning except that, by simple methods, the portal must be reversed. Perform the first steps in order, then cause the demon to enter the circle and intone the spell of binding. The creature is no longer at your command. Be quick, then, and dispel the creature to whence it came, and destroy the magic circle, lest it returns to seek revenge. Ghost comes back to play with the blocks, so if you need to get back in there, you're going to have to drop another one of our precious blocks. Wine bottles. Cannot carry any more weight. Make some courage here. Sorry about the stuttering music and the need to reboot. Alright, so before we go down through this little shoot here, we want to actually probably try to get as much more experience as we can. You can walk around some to spaces you haven't been on, but re getting your magic back and casting magic is a great way to do it. In fact, I should have been doing it since the beginning so now we got to do a little grinding if you will we start getting into battles and we're gonna want to have lots of PP points so now I just kind of run down the hallway I don't want to go up there quite yet. Some tea chesticles. Some matches. Some sweet ass music. 
But yeah, I'm gonna let my PP build up, get some more experience, maybe get to level four or five, at least four, I think. And then uh, we'll join back in and... Jump down the chute here, the food chute. All right, welcome back after that short break, which wasn't very short. I had to, of course, let my PowerPoints fall all the way down and then cast spells. We're now level five with 1300 experience. These are our stats here. I haven't really gone over these, so I guess we could do that. So you have weapon skill here. Which you're basically attacking with your melee weapons. You have your accuracy. You know, how, many t how accurate are you? hitting, landing your blows. You have your willpower here, which uh, supposedly protects you from fainting, but I feel like you still faint every time you are supposed to. You have your magic resistance, strength, constitution, hit points, stuff like that, poison resistance, and intelligence, which is what helps with our PP powers and our spells. All right, so. Let's check out the chute here. Whoa! Guy needs to brush his teeth. See? Just fainted. Oh, hello. Let me grab these boots. We're in the helmet. I like to get it all together. Where, where, where in the gauntlets? Where in the jacket? This guy probably looks silly as shit. And using the knife in combat. So level three, um, this battle here uh, took... I couldn't complete it. It was like it was at a standstill. Might as well go ahead and grab some more wine. You can never have too much courage. I was always suspected that you were frigid. But this just takes the biscuit. You'll have to warm up to get out of here. Calm those big titties. It's all right, you gotta go into the editor. I got courage spell three times. I don't know if we need that. Brain boost is a good spell. It makes the spells you create even stronger. All right, now let's get the fudge out of here. So we have a uh, temperature sensor gauge and alarm system here. We use the curling iron with it. Apparently we have some AC in this room. You hear a bell ringing in the distance. Pop over here, drop a protection spell. And boom, this mad fucking guy comes through the 
door. All pissed off. So you want to unleash all your ice darts on them. And probably be level 5. And that protection spell will keep you alive a lot longer. Then you can kick his ass like that. Oh yeah. Eat shit and die. Alright, we're gonna leave stuff here for now. I did go down here and check. The whole reason... I, I guess I can show you if my fucking mouse would work here. The, the main reason this LP was restarted. And it gets even more interesting. This is the first thing I tested when I could get down here. God damn it. So yeah, right here. In the DOS game, you could... These wires were attached, but if you clicked on his head, it would zoom in. And I can't zoom in right now, but if I click on these wires, it'll cut them. It didn't do that on the DOS game. Which is super fucking weird. Here, I'll show you. Boom. See how I click those and they're gone? If I continue playing the game right now, you cannot beat it. You cannot finish the game if you do that one thing. You'd have to reload your entire save game, come back to here, and not cut those. There's no way to get the wires reattached, period. You fucked up. In the DOS version that I was playing last year, you could click on those wires all day. They wouldn't disappear. However, if you clicked on Homeboy's head here, it would zoom in and you could take his brains out and shit, which you're not supposed to be able to do to the end of the game. So I, th I assumed it was probably broken and it was a waste of my time to complete doing that broken game um, so instead we decided to restart and do the Amiga version now I got to reload my fucking game though all right so we're back reloaded Frankenstein head has to be fucking untampered with you notice you have the down arrow here which means you have some stairs going down got to keep an eye out for that because you won't necessarily see it in the artwork I don't want to mess with the scientist yet. We do want to come in here. Don't mess with our buddy, Mr. Frankenstein. We have all kinds of different body parts here. We're going to take the brain. I think we'll take the heart too. Go ahead and grab all these test tubes. I don't weigh too much.
right, we're up in the kitchen. Cooking pot, we got all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah, we got a lucky horseshoe. But just threw on the fucking ground. Alright, I think it's time to reboot. <laughs> 